Hey, how's it going? It's been a while. Just wanted to share with you guys how to upgrade your Bifrost 2 to the 64 analog card. What you'll get in the box is what you see here. This is the 64 analog card. And then this is a micro SD card that has the firmware upgrade on it. And we're gonna show you how to get this guy in to the Bifrost and how to update the firmware. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is get the old card out. You'll need a Phillips head screwdriver and there's just these two screws down here, this one and this one. Take those out and I'll go ahead and do that. Save those screws because you'll need them later. And you just pop the old one out. It will probably be green, and that's okay. That's normal. Set that aside. And for the new one, what we're looking for here is this is where it's actually connecting into the Bifrost. These are essentially like PCI slots. And on the inside, I don't know if you can see it. There you go. That's what you're wanting to hook up to. It's basically a little PCI slot. So it takes a little bit of eyeballing and finagling, but you take your new card and you get it in there and you want to line up the connector inside with these guys here. And we've done this a few times, so we'll probably get it right away. It might take some finagling, but get it in there and just kind of feel around for the end and yeah you'll know it's seated when there's a little bit of resistance and all you got to do is pop that baby in there all right so the new card is in Put your, your two screws back in. And they can be snug, they don't have to be super tight. As long as it's holding it in there. All right, and that's how you get your new card in. All right, so the next thing you wanna do is update the firmware. You get this little SD card. Now this is where I think everybody's getting hung up on. It's pretty easy. It basically programs itself. All you got to do is take the SD card out of the little holder here. And then you have a slot right here next to the analog card. It goes in print side up and you just stick it in there. This is without the Bifrost plugged in or turned on or anything. Okay. So once it's in there, you turn it around. Plug it in. And so basically what's going to happen is when the card is in, it's going to program itself. And it takes a few minutes and the lights blink and all that. We're going to show you exactly what they do here. And then once it's done, you don't need to have this card in there anymore. Basically, even <clears throat> if it's already been updated, it's going to reprogram the Bifrost every time you turn it on with this card in. So when it's done, you want to take the card out. So card is in. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on and basically let it do its thing. The lights blink, turns off, turns on. Eventually everything stops and acts normal. So right now I think it's looking for software. Either that or it's programming it right now. So once you get to the point where you have one light and you can switch inputs, then it's done. Now all you gotta do is turn the Bifrost off 
pull out your card because you don't need that anymore. And hang on to it, basically. It's a free uh, SD card. Those are nice to have around. And then you just turn it back on and it should act normally from here on out. All right, that's your normal startup. That's how you upgrade the Bifrost too. Thanks a lot, folks. All right, one more thing, just to verify that the firmware update went through, you can put it into NOS mode. In order to do that, you press and hold the button for about five seconds. And then when you let it go, the lights will go out and each of the lights, whatever input you're in, it will dim out slowly and then get brighter, dim out slowly, and it'll just keep doing that forever. That's NOS mode. In order to get it out, same thing, press and hold the button, let it go, and the light will stay on continuously. That's it, folks. Have a good one.